Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Rox9. Today we're doing a TV show. We're doing Arrow again, and we're doing doing the season three, episode eight, and this is a crossover episode between the Flash and Arrow. And the title is called The Brave and the Bold. So we start off where they get to this house and they're trying they're checking down this um this person and Argus shows up and then um they tell them just to let it go, and of course, they don't let it go. <laughs> then we have the flashback scene where Roller teaches Oliver how to torture someone and gives him all the tools that he needs to do that. Then we go to the present day where Caitlin and Cisco show up in um, Starling City. Then Dig visits Lila at Argus, trying to figure out what the issue is and can they back off and be, <laughs> just kind of like help them out. And, um, then it turns out, um, as they're talking, Captain Boomerang is at Argus, and all the bells and whistles goes off, and there's, like, a really good fight scene between, like, all the characters, which I really, really, really like, and I just realized this shirt has full of holes, and I'll probably change it after this video. <laughs> and then, um, as, and so Captain Boomerang literally throws, like, two boomerangs at Oliver, or at the arrow. And um, Barry stays in, um, saves the arrow and takes some stuff. And then um, <laughs> it's so funny because Barry goes back to their um, their arrow cave, <laughs> and he's on the semi-ladder, just up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's the funniest thing ever. And then um, Barry just reveals himself to Lila, and she's like, "But you, what? It's like, didn't Diggle tell you?" And he's like. I keep secrets, dude. And I thought that was kind of funny. Like, super duper funny. I really like that a lot. And so they have uh, a bunch of fragments of the um, the boomerangs that were left on the, um, at the Argus. And Oliver goes like, this is going to take a while to fix. And then Barry does it like in 20 seconds, which is super funny as well. So he reconstructs the boomerang and... Um, they figure out where it's made at, so they go to find the guy that does that. And um, Arrow does his usual methods of getting information, sticking an arrow in people. And Barry really does not like his interrogation technique whatsoever. He's like really a, a, almost appalled by it. And then we have the flashback scene where Oliver tries to torture someone, but before he can get an answer, the bomb goes off and destroys like an entire like building. Then we go back to the present day where uh, Captain Boomerang um, shows up at Arrow Cave because apparently there was like um, a transmitter device in one of the arrows and stuff. And um, then we have uh, Lila gets hit. And then we have a flashback scene where Waller blames Oliver for not getting the information in time. And then we go back to the present where Barry encourages Oliver. He's like, you are here, you just gotta go about it a little bit differently, but you save lives, you have done all this good for their, your city and stuff. Which is actually a pretty good scene. Then, um, Hector Boomerang is at the train station trying to get out of town. And then, um, Captain Boomerang, Captain, Captain Boomerang, <laughs> um, plays five bombs across the city. And so when, um, Flash goes to look at the bomb, um, they realize it's all linked together in one thing. So what he does is Barry gets every everyone on Team Arrow to a bomb. And, okay, I don't know how they figure out it's the blue wire. I think that was a little bit of like, oh, uh, you know, they just say, oh, it's the blue wire, cut the blue wire. How do you know it's the blue wire? Because I don't think they explained it unless I'm being completely ditzy, but I don't think they talked about it. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, so they do that, and they save the day, and then we cut to Lila in the hospital, and it was basically just kind of like a throw and through, and she's fine. Then Diggle asks her to marry him. She says yes. Then Oliver gets an upgrade of his um, stuff with a little bit of help from Cisco, and then it's Arrow versus Flash to see who is the better fighter. But we don't actually see it, but we have them like going at it for each other. And that's the episode. 
I thought it was a really good episode, to be honest, because they had like, a bunch of little funny moments in there, and Oliver begrudgingly helps um, out um, Barry, or lets him help him out. And another funny thing is, um, in this, he um, the Flash gets his own little um, mannequin um, box thing where they put the costumes in if he ever visits um, Star City, Starling City again. So I also like that part a lot as well. And just everything, I like all the, um, how the Flash cast kind of gels with the Arrow cast, and I like how they all get along, and just the character developments are also still very good as well. So, um, really, really good episode. I really liked this a lot, and I guess A plus episode. It was really good. And that's going to be it for me. <laughs> Uh, there actually wasn't a whole lot of, like, dialogue and stuff, so, like I said, really good episode. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next, seeing that I've seen this probably, like, four times. <laughs> Literally, I think I've seen the entire series, like, four times, set apart from the last season. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what it did for me, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think down below. I really appreciate it, or what you want me to write to next. And... See you on my next one. And have a super duper awesome day. Bye.